Now we call this process the process of convection, where warm air heats and rises above the ground, and cool air comes in to take its place. And so here's another little diagram that has a lot going on in it, and you might even pause the video at this point and just kind of look at everything that's going on here. I won't spend a lot of time talking about it right now. We'll come back to it a little bit later when we talk about the role of the sun uh, in providing heat to the earth. But uh, convection is this, the air above the ground gets warmed, it rises. Well, cool air sinks when warm air is rising. Cool air sinks to take the place of warm air. In fact, in the presence of warm air, cool air moves down to the ground and presses the warm air up above it as it moves below, forcing the warmer air to rise above the cooler air. So this idea of convection, you know, warmed rising air, cooling sinking air, is, is what causes vertical wind, the vertical motion of the air, air in the atmosphere going up and down, but also convection is caused by, uh, by the cool air coming down and then moving to the moving sideways, moving horizontally along the ground as the warm air is rising up from the ground and out into the atmosphere, uh, where the heat dissipates and all that air becomes cool again and then sinks back down to the earth and this whole process goes over and over again. So this process is called convection. You have, in this whole process, you have solar radiation, which then is absorbed into the surface of the earth. Uh, as it's absorbed, the Thermal radiation from the sun is stored in the earth. It's also then begin, it also then begins to be released uh, into the air above the ground where bubbles of air warm and eventually rise into the atmosphere. Cool air sinks and will come underneath the warm air moving horizontally. And so this is how we have wind formed.